Our history-making astronaut has told Sky News she hopes her success will encourage a generation of Australian space explorers. Catherine Bennell Pegg overnight became the first certified astronaut representing Australia. And she spoke with our science and tech correspondent, Breno Halloran, soon after stepping off the graduation stage at the European Space Agency facility in Germany. This was the moment history was made and a childhood dream realised. Catherine Bennell Pegg, who pondered physics while paddling in the North Sydney surf and played spacefarers in the backyard, now a certified astronaut. I'm feeling absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud to be wearing uh, these wings next to the Australian uh, flag patch on my shoulder. Her graduation from the European Space Agency program followed a year of physically and mentally demanding training in Germany. I'm a satellite engineer, a space station engineer um, for the last 15 years almost, and I was still learning new things every day about those topics and also about things like medical science, human behaviour and performance, um, robotics and things things like that. Pecks for the program ahead of more than 22,000 others, the 39-year-old had already proven she had the right stuff. As a mother of two, an army reservist, a SES volunteer with four degrees. Catherine, you have shown young Aussie kids back home the power of a dream and what can come from hard work and determination and the pursuit of education and careers in STEM. There have been Australians before her, but dual citizens Andy Thomas and Paul Scully Power went to space officially representing the US. Having an Australian space agency allowed Catherine to have an Aussie flag on her suit and she's determined to have others follow her footsteps. I look forward to opening doors for more Australians to be involved in human spaceflight in the future. What I really hope for is that I can help lift the level of aspiration amongst um, young people in Australia to dream big for themselves, for their communities, their families and their country and their world. Now qualified to travel to the International Space Station, she could be picked for a mission as soon as early 2026. But first, a return to South Australia and her work with the Australian Space Agency. What I want people to take away from this is the power of a dream combined with hard work and determination. Almost anything can be possible if you take things one step at a time and you pursue something that you think is worth pursuing and that you also enjoy. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.